Hi YouTubers, Cindy Oaks here. This is just a little uh, pro video to give instructions on how to use this uh, tree view uh, control that I created for the iOS. It's really not a full-fledged control. It's just a project that you can use to add into your project or you know, use it instead, rename it, and then put your code around it. Um, it's just to help you out. Um, I know like in the .NET framework, they have tree views, and I really like the tree views. If you've seen some of my work on SourceForge, I use the a tree view on the left side as a navigator, and I was wanting to make my Bible study program for the iPad, and so I was wanting another tree view. So that's the reason I decided to do this, because I had it around I couldn't find any you know I'm more than happy to use other people's work and not reinvent the wheel but there just wasn't any um, I did find some old Objective-C code well uh, Apple is going to Swift you know they might let people still use Objective-C but I look for that being cut off so we was gonna go with Swift that's what the new thing is anyway so um, I did find like I said uh, something from a a a, a med carum and I looked at his code it was old it's objective C but I could still read it and um, so I used some of his ideas uh, a couple of them but the rest of them is all my work and this is all my work other than just a couple ideas that I uh, got off his and I do put the link to his work on my source forge project and in code project also anyway if you're wanting to use it it's fairly straightforward you know I started off with a, a single view um, application template and then when you get to the storyboard uh, I added a table view here it is and um, the main controller for that is tree view controller which I think Faults to UI view controller or something. I just changed the name to it, and so you can see that on my um, view controller, that is the main guy. And then after I added the table view, I added a cells, and the cell, I, the class that that uses, is tree view cell, and the code that operates that is in here. So you can look at that if you want to. You don't have to. Um, if all you want to do is just uh, use rename the project and use it for your own, uh, the only really thing you need to look at is this tree view list. Up at the very top uh, is where you load your initial data. At the bottom, it you know sorts it, manipulates it to put on the tree, but you don't need to worry about that. You just make sure that you have like a level like and it starts with zero the very first one give it a name and then have an, a unique ID for each one of them and I've called my numbers you don't just because it's easy you don't have to have numbers you can have anything else you can just have any type anything you want there and then you have to have a parent ID uh, and the parent ID is the ID of the uh, node that you want it underneath like for instance I've got my note here, Cindy's family tree. Well, the people underneath my node is Catherine and Kyle, and they have a parent ID of one. But then Catherine's got some children too. So her ID is three. So Haley and Macy, they have a parent ID of three. And so just make sure you get it like that. You can have as many as you want. I mean, it shouldn't take too long to load in memory. And you can just go from there. Let's see how this runs real quick. I already said, well, Let's we'll start it from scratch. So this is where it starts. Jack, that's all he has on his. But it's multi-level. The sample that I kind of looked at, he just had one level, but you know, I made mine multiple level. And if you want to add levels, you don't have to um add code or anything because it recursively adds them for you. All you're going to do is make sure you get that initial uh, list over here set up right. You can have, you know, I got tired of typing, so that's how I did, but I could have had a whole lot more. Anyway, so um, I hope this works out for you, and 
it's on SourceForge for sure. It might be on Code Project, and um, I'll be having some more stuff come out. Bye.